not about the equipment, but how you use it. I couldn't agree more with this statement, but at the same time, I think we all kind of had this side thought of, well, that's not completely true. We think that if I had the same camera as that guy, then I would be able to do just as good work or better work than them. Or if I had that thing, I'd be a way better filmmaker. But regardless of what camera you own, even if it's just the cell phone in your pocket, there's a way to get more out of your camera. The way you set up your camera makes a massive, massive difference. It doesn't matter if you're shooting on something like this little guy here or on something bigger like this guy or this guy. The way you set up your camera, the settings that you use makes a massive difference. And I think that a lot of people actually aren't getting the full potential out of their camera. So I wanna talk a little bit about how I set up my camera to get the most, the best quality out of the camera. And I did a whole two videos on just camera settings to get the most cinematic image out of your camera. But in this video, I wanna dive deep into color profiles. They're a little bit of a mystery for a lot of people. When do you use what color profile? Why do people film in a flat profile and then just add contrast? It just seems like more work. It can make a huge difference to your footage and my theory, my guess is that a lot of you aren't utilizing your cameras to the full extent. You're not getting the best out of your camera. For example here, I'm using a $10,000 camera. So this is an expensive camera and right now the color profile, this shot is just in a standard color profile, Rec 709. It's as basic as it gets. It has a kind of a standard amount of contrast and saturation. It just, it looks okay, it's fine. And then here's another shot on the same camera, shot in log. Now, when you first compare the two, you think, well, the standard one looks way better. Why would you ever shoot in log? Log looks like garbage. It's super gross, desaturated, no contrast. It just doesn't look good. Why would you shoot with that? And I agree, straight out of the camera, it looks horrible, but with a few tweaks, bam, it looks really, really good. Okay, so you're saying, well, now they kind of look the same. Why would you go through all that extra work filming in log and then basically just bringing it back to the same look? What's the point? Well, if you're not filming in log, if you're using something like the standard color profile, it's kind of like the equivalent of filming all the time with an Instagram filter put on your footage. So you're choosing a filter in camera, you're putting on your footage and you're filming like that, and you can never remove that. It's permanently on there. You can't go back and change it. The look or the color profile that you're using is put on when you're filming and that's permanent. You cannot undo that. You can't get rid of it. Once you have it on there and you're recording, that's it. But if you film in log, you can take it any direction you want. You don't have a preset on there already. So if you want a really contrasty look, you can get that. If you want a flatter look, you can get that. If you want teal and orange, you can get that. You can take it in any direction that you want. Whereas with a standard color profile, you can't really take it in too many different directions because you're essentially color grading an image that's already been color graded. And the big problem here is that contrasty look. What it means is that you're getting less dynamic range. You're essentially choosing parts of your image and just deleting that information. I don't want it. Dynamic range in practical terms means that you can get more bright areas and more dark areas and still have detail in both. So you're not gonna have really white skies or really dark shadows. For example, here, even though I've color graded pretty dark, I can bring up the shadow and see some detail in here. Or for example, here, it's fairly bright, but again, there's still detail in there because this camera has a really high dynamic range and I'm filming in log. Not to mention if you want a really heavy grade, you have a really good starting place with log to just take it in any direction. Whereas again, with the standard color profile, it's gonna start falling apart really quickly. You're gonna start seeing all kinds of noise and weird stuff and it's just gonna fall apart. It's gonna look really bad. So what should your settings be and when should you be using what? For me, I'm always using the flattest profile possible so that I have the most room in post to take it in any direction I want. I really like color grading. I think I'm pretty good at color grading. So having to color grade vlog footage doesn't scare me at all. It just means I have more possibilities and a better image. I think sometimes if you have a really quick turnaround, for example, you're filming some sort of live stuff and then you gotta edit it quickly and put it online, 
then it's totally fine to use something like a standard profile. But 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999